Hello everyone and welcome, Dom here and in this video I'm really happy to show you the new update for Simple, the synthesizer for Halion, Halion Sonic and Halion Sonic SE from Chris St. Albin. This feels like a brand new instrument, I have a lot of stuff to show you, really cool things, so let's dive into it. The first thing you're going to notice when you install Simple 1.5, the new update for Simple, is the new interface and it looks gorgeous and all the different modes, the supertone modes look amazing. So you already know straight away which mode you're at and you know this also helps when you're sound designing sounds because you look at a cleaner, much more interesting interface. So to begin with I'm going to start playing some of the new presets. We have 200 new presets in this update and by the way if you want to find these new 200 presets it's very easy. You just go to load and here in the category search you make sure that you select family name here in one of these fields and the new presets are found in banks 7 and 8. So if you just take these banks you will find the new presets. Pretty neat. So let's play a few of them so that you can hear what you can expect. Let's start the first one. This is called First Encounter. So this is pretty amazing, so many different sequences, you can hear drums, you can hear some cool drum sounds right there and I'm going to show you all that because the new update has some really amazing things up its sleeve that will completely change the way you design sounds with Simple. Let's try the second sound and this is called Second Encounter. And it's very interesting because with these two examples you can hear the difference between the different supertones, right? So as you can see here we have the analog and here we have the digital. Let's play some more of the sounds. As you can see lots of sequence sounds that can get you started creating a beat very very easily and this really shows you what you can do with a new update with Simple. This is a fun one. I love this, this also has a nice sub right there that plays these amazing feels. I love the sound.
I mean, this is already a track, you know, this can give you so many ideas to get started creating a new song. So before I play some more sounds, I want to show you some of the new features that we have in this new version of Simple. In my opinion, one of the biggest things in this update is that the Super Voice can now play samples. And this opens a whole new horizon when it comes to sound design. For example, I've prepared this simple sub bass in simple and it sounds like this. And I can of course morph with I mean, simple sounds so fat. Let's keep it simple and I'm going to play with the shape a little bit. Gonna keep it right there. I like the sound. Now, let's go to the voice tab here and you can see that now I've set this sound to legato and glide and now I have my super voice enabled, okay? The super voice you can enable by going to mono or legato, okay? This is for monophonic sounds. So now, I still have the husky types, the smear types, the ultra wide. These were already amazing in the first version of Simple, but now we also have samples. We have noise, we have rhythmic noise, we have kick attacks, we have snare attacks, we have snares, claps, and so on and so forth. So maybe for this sub bass, I want to add a kick attack and turn it into a combination of kick and sub bass. Let's try the kick attack one. Let's try another attack. Maybe I'm going to go for, let's try attack 19. Let's try the kick two sample. And maybe for this one, I'm going to go to my user envelope that I've assigned to the oscillator one pitch. And I'm going to do some modifications so that I create a more interesting kick drum. So there are really lots of sound design possibilities right now. Let's try some more samples. I like Kick 29, it has lots of punch. And why don't we add a clap? Let's add a tom. And some percussion samples. Crashes. So as you can hear, sky's the limit. Let me show you some other stuff. So we have 340 new super voice modes, including 275 new samples and noise generators. This is a lot of sound design ammunition. Next, we have quite a few effects improvements. So if we go to the effects tab, I have this pad that I created here. And I'm going to show you the new effects. First of all, we have 
individual effect presets. So for example, if I go to distortion here, you will see that I have acid burn, exciter, smoke machine. If I go to lo-fi, for example, I have a nice lo-fi sound. Now I can go back to default very, very easily. And with the distortion, we also have dual diode mode. Which sounds pretty nice. And let's move on to the chorus. So we have different chorus types. So now we have from classic to phase to flanged and ensemble. And again, we have presets for the chorus. Then we have the delay, and we also have a low pass filter in the delay effects now, and the reverb. But with the reverb, we also have new reverb types. So we have seven new reverb types added to the reverb effects. Three rooms, two plates, and two holes. And it goes without saying that, you know, when you use the different supertones, you get completely different sounds with the same preset. So for me, any sound that you create in simple, it's actually three sounds to begin with. So, so this is analog, digital, very, very, very different, and bionic. Love the new Bionic interface. It looks so, so cool. While I am with this pad, let me go and turn it into mono and activate one of the new modes, the new Super Voice modes. The ping pong is really interesting. It gives you a nice, playful left-right effect there. Try the swirly. And the split wide four. And now we also have two arpeggiator modes. We have the classic one. And we also have a custom arpeggiator mode. And I like the fact that when I press Alt, I can just draw in a ramp like this. And we have a loop mode as well. So if you don't want the arpeggiator to keep looping, you can turn the loop off. And this allows you to create more custom arpeggiators for your music. So we have two new filter modes, including new fatness algorithms that can dramatically change the way that a sound, a preset that you created sounds like. So let me play this simple arpeggiator now, and I'm going to switch between the filters, right? Let's go to the classic one first. Now let's try the analog, the new analog filter. 36 again. So they sound very, very different. Let's try the new duplex one.
I mean, this filter type is very aggressive, it has a lot of grit. Especially if you crank up the fatness, it becomes a monster. Let's go back to the analog again, just for comparison. And classic. So there are massively different sounding filters. So in total, we have 58 filter types now, which expands the sound design possibilities with this update massively. Like I said before, we have the new super voice, the new effects, new filters. It really feels like a new instrument what I told you at the beginning. Obviously, I'm only scratching the surface when it comes to what's new in this new update. There are tons of new features, improvements, enhancements. I'm going to leave you with some more presets. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the new update and I'll see you on the next one. Talking about nice filters, right? 